Hello, Times. Today is Thursday, October 26th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Please sit down for a moment of silence. Attend GURLUP's first meeting on today at 4.30. GURLUP is a UN foundation that focuses on securing equal opportunities for underprivileged girls in developing countries and the community. They're focused on creating social change and fighting for gender equality while educating people on global issues and how they can help as YAO. The chapter will have volunteer opportunities for members as well. Again, their first meeting is today at 4.30. The annual student versus staff kickball game is happening tomorrow from 5 to 7 out on the softball field. If you and your friends want to take on teachers like Mrs. Gonzalez, Coach Kaufman, and Officer Jefferson, come out to the softball field. If you want to get bragging rights and win the home run derby, that's happening right after the game. Scan this QR code. October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And today's tip is what you can post can last a lifetime. Before posting online, think about what others might learn about you and who might see it in the future. Teachers, parents, colleges, and potential employers. Share the best of yourself online. Everyone is invited to the October CHS Spanish Club meeting today and during advisory in room A210. This month, we will learn about Venezuela, so come out and enjoy the meeting with snacks, games, and more. Don't forget to dress up for Red Ribbon Week. Tomorrow, scare away drugs by wearing Halloween costumes. This week, items from our lost and found will be on a table in the rotunda for students to retrieve their personal belongings. This will include lunch boxes, water bottles, clothing, and school supplies. Items not picked up by Friday afternoon will be donated to a local charity. Electronics, glasses, and other small valuable items will continue to be secured in the assistant principal's office for retrieval. Thank you, Times. Have a great day and even better week.